Cat, it's Maximus here. Just another video about some slip joint pliers. Some people really don't care for these or care for my videos about them. Some people do. This happens to be CT. So these are actually Crescent Tools brand. And for some reason they had another trademark brand called CT. I never knew until I looked it up. And I just don't understand why they would have the CT. And apparently that naming was used on pliers and, wrench and wrenches. But it's a Crescent Tool Company brand, and actually, they still sell these. This is a true vintage pair coming out of Jamestown, New York. So, just like the old Jamestown uh, original uh, OG Crescent wrenches, I think these are pretty nice. They still have a pretty tight rivet. You know, these can be tightened up. Not too bad. Pretty even uh, machining on the jaws there. Gosh, I've run into some of these pliers where it's just like, it's totally chopped off and sharp on one jaw, and the other jaw, the flat, is like, huge and eighth inch wide we can see that they are semi curved have a kind of a coarse cutter and once again they're slip joint and as I mentioned in all videos pliers like these actually are all made as left handles or right handles these are both the same handle and then they just broach a slip joint on one side and then just a D shape a double D shaped hole on the other that double D hole is to prevent you f is to all uh, this that's how the slip joint works is there's this a round bolt with two flats there's a little nub it's like a figure eight shape you turn it and then it goes onto the wider round part and that's what prevents it from sliding back and forth that same shapes in this fic on this side of the jaw to help this is the side of the jaw that also has the nut so that helps prevent the bolt from twisting around against the nut and helps them stay tighter for a longer period of time. This is just a basic six inch pair. They did have an eight inch pair. These are actually in pretty decent shape. One thing I was gonna say is I do like the cross hatching that they have on the jaws here. That is something that a lot of these flyers do not do, not even the diamonds. But I do like these vintage crescents because that cross hatch actually gives you just a bit of extra grip. And once again, really nice, pretty nice grinding on these. Nice textured pan, uh, pattern on the handle. That is done as a, they forge these and then they have to hit them again to get that texturing. So it's a little bit more expensive. And another thing I thought was curious, let me show you here. Here we are on the Crescent's tool site and they still have them. They're the H26VN. We go to buy now. Apparently uh, Granger is out of stock, but if we go to some place like Amazon here, if this will ever load, uh, we can see 10 bucks for the good old Crescent. Uh, CT pliers and they actually have the 8 inch ones too. I guess those are in stock. 13 bucks for the 8 inch and they look a little bit different. They look like they have the same size front jaw just longer handles but it's kind of neat to see a tool. I mean I think the CT brand was first trademarked in like 1930 or something. That would make this almost 90 years of this brand. I don't mean the Crescent brand, a big name brand like that you'd expect, but a sub-brand like CT, those, these types of brands come and go every few decades, and it's actually amazing to see that CT, their sub-brand, is almost 90 years old, and uh, they are made pretty well. I do like these, and someday I will do a video that just is a comparison of all the different slip joint pliers I've been building up. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.